AFCRD TV. We're here at Hayden Road following tonight's Derby Day victory. Certainly won't get tired of saying that. 1-1 uh, in the game and then Diamonds win 4-2 on penalties against Kettering Town. And I'm now joined by man of the match, Fernando Beltoxi. Fernando, what a great game for Diamonds. What a great result. Yeah, I mean, good result. It's always good to be at Kettering. It's a Derby Day. You always want to win against, against your rivals. Um, the game wasn't great um, in terms of quality, but... At the end of the day, a win's a win, and it's always good to win on pens. Um, always a better feeling, to be fair. It was a difficult start for us, obviously, going behind so early on with that goal from Conor Johnson. What was the sort of message within the team after that? Yeah, so, I mean, they, we said at half-time, they haven't created too many chances. To be fair, we didn't create too many chances either, but we said, look, we're still in this. We know we always seem to play better in the second half for some reason lately. Um, so we, we said to ourselves, look, stay in the game. See you through the first 10 minutes of the second half and we'll, we'll get a chance and we did and we took it and there we go, won it on pens in the end. And obviously they're a good side so they could have easily took control after that first goal but like you say we, we stayed in the game well, made it to half time and we really got going in the second half like you say. Yeah I mean we just we just said we need to come out with more energy and that's what we did in the second half and we tried to get her out of the pitch, tried to press them a bit more. I think maybe because we thought they're in a higher league we tried to give them a bit too much respect, respect in the first half so yeah we came out the blocks. Be we played we played better in the second half, that's for sure. Played higher at the pitch. Obviously, we're renowned for being quite a, a physical side, and we certainly proved that on our goal, winning our first and second balls, and Ty there was first goal, and what time to get it? Yeah, I mean, Ty, I thought Ty was fantastic today, to be fair. I thought, like, I thought it was our best player on the pitch, to be fair. Played very well. He put a uh, like against three physical centre halves, he done well. Obviously, got his goal on a, on um, on his home debut. So yeah, good performance from him today. And as soon as he got to penalties, it, it seemed never in doubt with Sneds in goal. We've always got a chance and two great saves, and, and we've won the shootout. Yeah, I mean, we were saying to him in the, I was saying yeah. to him there, look, best keeper in the league, mate. He's gonna, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna save us one or two there. And as you can see from that penalty shoot, there, he saved us two fantastic saves. And I mean, too fair, the standard offence from Warbs, Naif, Connor, were all a joke. Too fair, so yeah. You talk to the words right out of my mouth there. Have you been practicing penalties in training? Because they're all great pens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been practicing pens in training. Um, Nathan's always stepping up, taking free kicks and pens and a few others as well. So yeah, good, good standard to be fair, Joseph. Let's talk more about yourself then. Obviously, you've had a more extended buy on the team for this last month. You've got a few Mad Match Awards as well. You must be pleased with your own performances at the moment. Yeah, I think lately I've been playing quite well. I don't think today was one of my best games, I'm going to be honest. Um, but I thought, obviously, off the ball, I was quite good in terms of energy. Could have been a bit better on it. Um, but as of late, yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased to be playing again and just being in and around the team and in and around the lads is always better when you're playing and especially when we've been doing well as well as of late in terms of results so yeah I'm buzzing with my own performance and I'm excited that the team are doing well and hopefully we can keep this run going So we're now into the semi-finals of the competition obviously the Hidia Cup isn't the priority but it would be nice to go and get some silverware two games to go of course Yeah of course I mean semi-finals and finals there's always an incentive there like you said get the get some silverware and to play at six goals at the end of the day so those are two incentives for us and we just want to win as much games as we can. If, if, the more games we win, the, the, the more the run keeps going. Moving on then, frustratingly, we, it's, it's another free weekend for the Diamonds where we don't have a game, but uh, we're back in action next week at, at Leicester. That's going to be a tough game, obviously, away at a side who have made a good start, but we'll go into that game with confidence after the last couple of results. Yeah, well. exactly. Like, like you said, the last four or five games, we played really well. Um, got, got, a lot of, got a lot of good results as well. Um, we won't go there fearing them. We know they're doing well in the league, but we'll go there with confidence. We went there with confidence last year. I think we picked up a, a good result there away. Um, and I'm sure we can go there and definitely get a result. Absolutely. Well done, Fernando. Thank you for your time. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you, Joseph and Fernando. Well done. And I'm now with the manager uh, for AFC Russian and Diamonds. As Diamonds uh, go up against Kettering Town, it finishes 1-1 in the Hillier Senior Cup quarterfinals. And Diamonds win on penalty kicks, 4-2. Andy, uh, your initial thoughts after a great win for Diamonds? Yeah, delighted, Bruce. I'm always happy whenever we win, whatever the competition, however we win, a win's a win. Um, to beat Ketron, obviously, your local rivals on penalties makes it a little bit sweeter. It's not a great way for them to lose, but it's nice to win a penalty shootout, and I thought the penalty was a top draw. So, yeah, really pleased. What did you think about the game itself? A big local derby, but uh, chances were far and few between uh, for scoring goals, only one by each side in the 90 minutes. Yeah, it was, I think it was going to be, you know, for me, it had to be a tight game, you know, respecting them, they're a league above, we knew it was going to be tough. Um, so, yeah, we wanted to be hard to break down. We, didn't, we limited them first half probably to the goal, which was disappointing, but they didn't create a, a lot else. Neither did we. It was quite cagey. I was a little bit disappointed at half-time. I wanted to express ourselves a little bit more. We had a couple of inroads with Ravi down the right. Um, but it, it, was, it was a battle. It was a local derby. It was always going to be like that. Um, I thought we started the second half a lot better, to be honest. Um, got a goal. And then perhaps, I don't know if we didn't press quite as high, but they had a lot more on the ball and created a couple of chances themselves. We've said we disappointed they didn't score, but you know, we, we rode it out. We still looked a threat from set pieces, nothing quite drop. And yeah, not loads of chances in the game, but I didn't expect we probably would be. 
Well, you fall behind so quick, the one nil, Connor Johnson for the Poppies in only the sixth minute. That uh, definitely was disappointing. It's somewhat of a poacher goal there. <laughs> yeah, it was disappointing because we've, we've done well. So we finished really strongly Saturday. We wanted to tap into tonight. Um, yeah, we, we got caught early, a little bit cold, and you don't want to go one or two down against a team from the league above too early on. So show good character to stick in there, really. And uh, one of the new Diamonds players, Ty Deacon, with his first goal for Diamonds, gave it a great time, only the 50th minute, uh, the five minutes into the uh, second half for an equaliser. Yeah, I thought he deserved his goal. I thought he was excellent tonight. I thought his hold-up play, his link-up headers and that, I thought he was excellent. And, you know, I think he shows he brings something else to the club, which we've been looking for. And um, new, so he's pleased he got his goal. And a new Diamonds player as well in uh, the game today, A.J. George. Uh, were you pleased with his performance? Yeah, yeah again, I haven't got loads of options mm -hmm. change-wise, but I wanted to get some minutes into the likes of A.J. Um, and other players. So it's good that I did that, um, which I thought worked quite well. Um, so we've got some others like Slinny, who's played two games in four days. So we had some tired legs out there as well. Uh, we haven't got loads of options with a couple of people still unavailable. We haven't got a massive squad. So it was a good test for us tonight. And like I said, it's a local derby and it's good for the fans. It's good for the players. It keeps the momentum going. It seems like now Robbie Shamsi is a, a veteran <laughs> for Diamonds. He, he's really made a great uh, improvement uh, for the Diamonds team overall. Yeah, Ravi's yeah. Ravi. I, I said before, he's over the years we've had hard working players. Um, you know, you know what you're going to get from them. Uh, Ravi's a little bit different. You know, you don't see him for a little while and then he just sets the game alight in little fits and spells. And, you know, he, he's been valuable since he's joined. And I thought it was interesting when we go to the penalty shootout, uh, three of the four Diamonds players who took the penalty kicks were all uh, were subs that had come into the game. Was that part of your strategy? Fresh legs to take the PKs? I never pick a team for penalties, definitely not, because our record of penalties is not great. So that was never the case. We just freshened it up. I knew the boys who did take penalties. We have practiced penalties, so we knew who was going to do what, but they were particularly good penalties. Yeah, absolutely. Really. Oh, yeah, up. we were four for four on penalty kicks, but I give all credit to Dean Snepker making two saves. Yeah, we said, we said before we picked the five who was going to take them. Um, and we said, you know, if you can stick it in the net, I'm pretty certain Dean will save one because that's what he does. And, you know, he saves two, so we're delighted for him. Now, personally, uh, I know when diamonds win, uh, I get high as a kite. And I know the managers, players always say, keep an even keel. Don't get too high after a win or too low after a loss. I'm high as a kite after a win, but after a loss, I'm despondent, sullen, disconsolate for the rest of the day. Do you have any advice for me, uh, no, Andy? That's, no, that's football. I'm the same. I'll tell the players, don't over-celebrate and, don't, and you know, go, don't go overboard. But no, football's about that, and you need to win games. And like I said, you've got to enjoy your wins because football... You know, ups and downs. We, we know that. You know, it's nice. We're on a nice little run at the moment. We're winning some games of football. The spirit's good in the team. And yeah, enjoy your wins. You had a great celebration just sat this past Saturday and another good one tonight. Yeah, the boys loved it Saturday. That was a fantastic comeback and they enjoyed that. And they've enjoyed it again tonight because it's, it's about, you know, it's good for the spirit of the team. I keep saying there's a lot of young boys in that team. And the more games you win and the, the more dramatic finishes that we have, the more it breeds confidence and these boys will get better and better. Definitely. Well, one more, Andy. I've been wanting to ask you this for a while. It's a bit of a personal question, but uh, do you miss playing? Would you like to be out there on the pitch with the lads? Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Certainly when we're not doing well. There's nothing... Managing's great when you win. It's horrible when you lose. Uh, it hurts a lot more than injure a player. And yeah, certainly miss playing. Playing used to hurt when I lost, but you get over that a lot quicker than managing. Managing, you're always thinking about the next move. So... Yeah, if you could, I could swap my roles and go back to playing. What are you suggesting, Bruce? Uh oh, that'd be like Benjamin Button, uh, age uh, backwards. But uh, at any rate, great result tonight, Andy, and uh, cheers. Keep it up. Nah, brilliant. I hope that went down well. Very good. Thank you.